week. So today is a haul video and it's kind of a collective haul from a ton of places. Sephora, Ulta, Beautylish. And I'm also going to throw in my BoxyCharm for this month at the end of the video if you want to see what I got for BoxyCharm. I didn't want to make a whole separate video on this, but I am wearing some of the products today, so I was going to give you kind of some feedback with that. Let's go ahead and get into it so it's not an hour long video. Okay, first thing first. Y'all seen me haul my Sunday Riley Good Jeans All-in-One Treatment. It's a serum and it's the serum that works for me. So I went a month, about five weeks without using this serum and my face broke out like crazy. So I have tried stuff from the drugstore, I've tried other serums and this is just the magic serum for me. So I did repurchase that from Sephora and I got a couple of samples. I got the Bosha Subaki cleansing oil gel which I haven't tried yet but I'm super excited to try that and then I got the Dermaclear Micro Water which it says it removes makeup and impurities tones and brightens so I'm guessing this is it's it's made by Dr. Jart but I'm thinking it's just a toner so I'm not really sure I should do some more research but I did get that as a sample and then a, a couple foil samples so that is what I got from Sephora. And then, um, okay, this was like a long time wish list item. And I went to the makeup show in September in Dallas and Beautylish was there. How cute is this bag? And it's a really big size bag. I really like that bag. Anyway, I wanted the Wayne Goss brush set so bad. Like just the collection, the main brush set. And for whatever reason, I didn't get it while I was there. I was like, oh, it's 200 and something dollars. That's expensive. But I have not been able to stop thinking about it for what, four months, almost five months now. So I did. I got the Wayne Goss, the collection. And it comes in this little tin, which I thought this that this was kind of like the Sigma um, brush thing that you get when you buy a kit, but it's not. It's like cardboard. But it, it comes with seven or eight brushes. Let me see. Two, four, six, eight brushes. Now, I have used all of them except for this number one brush, which I'm going to use with foundation. Y'all let me know in the comments if y'all want me to do like a first impressions on this on this brush because I've heard kind of mixed reviews. I feel like this would be the perfect brush for cream blush. But my friend Natalie from Flower Bomb 31 says that this is such a beautiful foundation brush. So let me know if you guys want to see a separate video with just this brush. But all these other brushes are great. Now this one is the, I don't even know, does it even say, yeah, number two brush. And this, I originally thought I would use it to set my concealer or do my highlight, but the past two days I've used it as a blush brush. Even though it looks really small, it works really well as a blush brush. So that's what I've been using that for. And then these are all eye brushes. And honestly, my favorite out of all of these, okay, they're all, they're the softest brushes that I've ever personally touched. They're amazing. But uh, this one is the number eight brush. And it really surprised me how much I like this brush. I love this for my brows. If you use a brow powder, this is so different than any brush that I've ever used for brows. You could probably use this with the Dip Brow Pomade also, but if you use a powder, to it, it makes the most it makes the most natural looking brush or hair strokes. You know what I'm saying? Because it's so small, but it's also super dense. I love this brush. And that's not the one that I was thinking I would love. I love them all. And I'll do a more detailed review if you guys want me to, or if you want me to do like a full look using these brushes, let me know. But I did finally break down and get them and hands down they're the softest brushes that I've ever tried in my life. Okay so next thing I went to Ulta and I got um this is a new product from Becca and it's called the under eye brightening corrector. 
Now Becca came out with some concealers that are also in a pot like this, but this is the corrector, kind of like the Bobbi Brown corrector or Eve Pearl has a corrector, uh, Giorgio Armani has one. But anyways, um, I am going to do a full review and demo of this on Thursday. So keep an eye out for that video. It's going to be kind of a quick review, but I have this is the fourth day that I've worn it today, and I love it. I'm kind of starting to suffer from a little bit of darkness under my eyes, and this really just brightens it up. I don't think that it's a standalone product by any means, but if you're someone who uses a corrector, this is a good one to try. It's really nice. So look for that full review and demo coming up. And then I finally got, and I've been wanting this for a long time too, the Lorac Baked Matte Satin Blush in Exposed. It's beautiful. It's what I have on my cheeks today. It's the first time I used it today. It's a really pretty blush, you guys. I mean, I definitely, I swatched, my Ulta had three of these satin blushes, and whew, I, I think I want all of them. It's gorgeous. I definitely recommend that. It's not matte, so I'm not sure why they say matte, because it does give you a little bit of a satin glowy finish, but it's not like, there's no shimmer particles, really. It just does have a little bit of a glow to it. It's beautiful. And then I got the Tarte Amazonian Clay 12 Hour Full Coverage Foundation. I've been wanting to try this because I really love Tarte products. And this has SPF 15 in it. I got the shade, girl, Ivory. I believe this is the lightest shade they have. I do have it on my face today. The first time I used this, I applied it with like a Sigma F80 and I didn't love it because it looked really cakey really quick and it accentuated my pores after a few hours and my fine lines and stuff, it kind of settled. It is a very full coverage. So I think the first time using a brush and I applied a little bit too much, today I put it on with a beauty blender and I definitely think that that's the way to go with this foundation and I put a lot less of the foundation on. It's really a good one, and I've heard about it for like a year now, so I finally got to try it. And then another Tarte product that I picked up, or that I got, was the Park Avenue Princess. It's the, you know, this one, they have like a shimmer one and a matte one. And when I first saw this, I thought it was the shimmery one, but it's not. It doesn't have any shimmer in it at all. So, it's what I have on today as my bronzer, and I really like it. I really like it. It goes on beautifully. It lasts on your face all day. Today is the second time I've used it, and I definitely like this. And then, what else did I get? Ooh, I got the Laura Mercier Caviar Stick in, is it brown? Cocoa. Okay, so today I put it on, like, my lash line, and I just used a MAC 217, and buffed it in and up into the crease a little bit. And that was the, well, I put Bobbi Brown Toast in my crease too, but that was the extent of my eye look today. I really like these Laura Mercier um, Caviar Sticks. I have Amethyst also. And they just go on so super smoothly and they blend out like a dream. So I love that. Okay, where do we want to go next? I'm all over the place. I also got some stuff from Rouge Bunny Rouge that I hadn't shared with you guys yet, so I wanted to show you what I got. Um, now, I have the Time Defying Foundation, and that made it into my 2014 favorites. It's amazing. So I'm gonna do a video and show you guys how it applies and use it in like a get ready with me, and then I'm gonna use some other stuff from this haul as well. But I wanna show you some stuff from Rouge Bunny Rouge. I got the Seas of Illumination Highlighting Liquid. I love their packaging, it's so fancy. Uh, so yeah, this is a liquid highlighter. This is what I have on as my highlight today. I really like it. I don't even have a powder highlight on, but it's just, it's beautiful. You can probably like go overboard with it because you don't need much product but it's a really, really pretty cream highlight. If you're into cream highlights, this is probably my favorite one, to be honest, and I've only used it a few times. Okay, and then I've got the T. 
Tinted Moisturizer from Rouge Bunny Rouge. Now, I will say, um, you, I'll link Rouge Bunny Rouge's website below, but it's not accessible to where you could, like, go into a store. So, I got the color, I think it's just light. No. What? Zero four three and I have no idea what it's called but I'll annotate it and I'll also list it in the description box but uh, I just love their packaging and this shade is a little bit too dark for me so uh, I think it, it I think it'll work in the summertime for me but yeah I don't know I don't I haven't used it yet because like I said it's a little bit too dark for me right now but I'll definitely keep you posted on that and then I got their quartz eyeliner which is a liquid eyeliner and this one has a little bit of specks of glitter in it it's black but it has some silver specks of glitter in it so I did get that and Rouge Bunny Rouge was so sweet and sent me all these products so I didn't buy them but I would def I will repurchase over and over their foundation and for sure this illuminator if I ever get through that big old huge bottle because those two products are must-haves from them and then they sent me some eyeshadows too which their eyeshadows come in little pans like Mac or Makeup Geek and let's see this one and then you can buy the little duo separately or you can put them in a Z palette this one is Abyssinian Catbird, which is a weird name. And then this is Rufus Tailed Weaver. I know, they have such weird names. But these are really pretty, you guys. The, uh, they're very silky smooth, and they're very, very pigmented. So I got those. And then this, I have been using this one single eyeshadow in Lilac Reef Caruso. Caruso right here it is so pretty let me swatch it for you I, I i posted a picture on my facebook page on like my texas mommy of boys facebook page which i will link below but look how pretty that beautiful lilac shade is it's so beautiful and i asked you guys if you wanted me to do a tutorial so i'll probably do a tutorial with that look it, it's not all Rouge Bunny Rouge, but that is like the main shadow. And then this one is Bohemian Waxwing. And I don't know, the quality is really good on these shadows. So that is that last one right there. And then they also sent me two single eyeshadows, which you can buy in a pan form or a compact. And this one is in the color... Umber Fire Finch, number 069. So this is a little bit deeper of a tone. One thing I will say about Rouge Bunny Rouge is a lot of their products are very, very, very wearable. So it's you're not going to get crazy looking like Urban Decay Electric eyeshadow palettes, but they're very wearable neutral shades. And then the last one is in Delicate Hummingbird and it's another purple and it's really pretty it's kind of a taupey taupey purple and that would look pretty actually with with that lilac one so there is delicate hummingbird i love these eyeshadows they're really good quality and then i got some stuff from ColourPop, which i've already done a quick look with the shanxo and ColourPop foursome so I'll link that below. I'm not really going to get into it, but I use all of these eyeshadows. ColourPop eyeshadows are amazing. They're $5. This set was $20 and I definitely recommend it. I posted that on Tuesday, or no, on Sunday. So check that out. And then I got, girl please, right when I got this ColourPop order, I looked in my mail, like I opened my mail and I saw this eyeshadow and I wore it like a lot last week so it's already been in my favorites but it is the color get lucky I'm wearing it in my Friday favorites last week if you want to see it on my eyelids it is the most gorgeous shade of gold if you're someone who is a fan of gold eyeshadows you need you need this eyeshadow like for real for real and then I did get the it's a collab with Kathy Kathleen lights which is a youtuber and she got, she made this Lumiere lippy stick. It's really, really pretty. So I used this in the tutorial on Sunday as well. 
It's a really pretty everyday type color, so that is Lumiere. And then I did, if y'all remember, a while back I did a traveling makeup box swap with some friends. Well, I did that again, but we're not putting it on YouTube or anything like that, but I wanted to show you a couple of things that I got from that, just in case you want to know my thoughts on them or whatever. However, I don't even, I, some of this stuff might be discontinued. Like this Urban Decay 24-7 Glide-On Shadow Pencil in Mushroom, this is like their chubby pencils. Are these discontinued? This is like brand new in the box. I'm not sure if they are, but I do not have any shadow base that is that taupey mushroom shade so i got that i don't know if they're discontinued and then i got another Lorac blush in the color desire and i didn't see this at ulta so this might be discontinued as well they might have switched it from these to the matte baked blushes but this desire shade is perfection for the spring i'm going to be wearing that so much and then I got, I've, I've never tried any Smashbox powder face products, and this is the Soft Lights, and it says Tint. So I'm not sure, I wasn't sure if this was like a blush, or a highlighter, or I don't really know what it is, except for that it's gorgeous. It kind of looks to me like it would be a blush, but it's pretty. Isn't that gorgeous? So yes, I got those few things. And then the last thing is my BoxyCharm box, which was awesome this month. BoxyCharm is my favorite subscription service that there is. I will leave like my referral link below because if you sign up through me, like I get points or something, but you can just go to BoxyCharm.com and sign up. You got a full size of the Tarte Maracuja Bronzing Serum. This is like $47 for real. And it is huge. I mean, this is awesome. How many ounces? I don't even know how many ounces this is. I haven't tried this yet. I do like the Maracuja oil, but it just comes with a dropper just like that. And you put it on after you wash your face, just like a serum. So I'm excited to try this. And then it came with a full-size Mirabella uh, primer, which was $29. And the BoxyCharm's only $21. So that's a good deal. And I have not tried this yet, but I will keep you guys posted. And then I did get these, what are these called? Flash tattoos. And I already used one of them, and it came off the first time I washed my hands. And then I am wearing this lip combo that I got in the box right now. This is the Perfect Pencil Lip Enhancer from Beauty For Real. And it really is the perfect lip liner color. It seems like it would go with so many things. I did use it, like I said, for, for today. And it's really pretty. It kind of reminds me of World by MAC. So yeah, I'm excited about that. I really liked the formula when I put it on today too. And then that same brand Beauty For Real sent their lip cream in the box. And it's what I have on. It went on really good. The full size of the lip pencil is 14 and the full size of this lip cream is $22. And it's called Always There. It's one that has a mirror and a light, kind of like the Gerard Cosmetics or the, um, Physician's Formula has glosses with the light on it as well. But that is that combo. There's that lip cream right there. So yeah, it looks really pretty and I like the way it feels. So yeah, way to go BoxyCharm. I have loved the past few months of BoxyCharm. They have not let me down. So that is it for this haul. Let me know some of the products that you wanna see in a get ready with me soon because I haven't done one of those, it seems like in a while. So that is it and I will see you soon. Bye.